So this is the beginning of my labor vlog. What? <laughs> So at my 39 week appointment, I just really expressed to my doctor that um, his movement has decreased a lot. And I know it's just due to the fact that he is big and he just doesn't have a lot of space. But I've just been having so much anxiety about it and getting no sleep at night, waking up in cold sweats, worried about him. What she told me that was very normal I was dilated at a two at my 36 week appointment and at my 37 week I was still the same, 38 week still the same, but then today at my appointment I was dilated at a three. So I have been progressing and I was also 75% effaced. Before my appointment I really prayed, I really prayed that God would just do what needs to be done at my appointment and that he would give me some answers as to how everything needs to go because um, I've been in a lot of pain but you know obviously I want him to be ready and healthy and so that's why I just really prayed I was like Jesus just give us clarity on what needs to happen my doctor I was shocked she was like well I think it's safe to say that it's time for him to come and it's time for you to be induced. Obviously, she let it up to me. She was like, either you can be induced tonight or you can wait it out, wait a week, see if you um, go into labor on your own or you can wait a week and then I will be like, it's time to get this baby out. She says that he has no more room and he is so low and definitely ready to go so that's what's happening we're going in at midnight tonight because my doctor is actually going by my old due date um if you guys didn't know my original due date was june 9th and then at my anatomy scan they changed it to june 5th but she's going by the 9th so at midnight i will be 39 weeks according to June 9th due date. So this is just such a different Scenario from when I had Everly because Everly I did like everything was natural I went into labor at like 2 o'clock in the morning and went in so it's really different having everything so like planned out this time, but Honestly, I kind of like it because like it gives us time to like make sure everything's in order and my dad and Stepmom are coming to watch Everly my mom's able to prepare so that is nice i'm a little nervous because i've never been induced before so i don't really know what to expect i'm expecting it to take a bit longer since i'm not actually in active labor like i was with my daughter my doctor did strip my membranes so i've been a little crampy but i'm um, not terrible right now i'm just trying to get everything in order so i'm gonna try to get some things done and then probably take a shower but yeah so here we go okay so it is now a little bit past 11 and we're supposed to be there at midnight so we're gonna be leaving here pretty soon i took a shower and i went ahead and crimped my hair so that um hopefully it'll last for tomorrow too i don't have to worry about it usually if i crimp it it'll last longer but we'll see um but i have been so crampy like I might honestly be in labor already like I really feel that bad so that's crazy we'll see what happens but my family is all here now I just had chick-fil-a and I've been really anxious all day I've been cleaning a lot and doing laundry and just getting things done but it's been a weird day I feel like I'm in a dream I'm getting contraction right now so things might be I might actually be in labor <laughs> we'll see though yeah I'm feeling it I'm feeling it guys the bump 
and I'm good. <laughs> Here is going to the hospital attire. I'm probably gonna change my slippers and put tennis shoes on. We got joggers. Just put a tank top on and play them. Here's the pump. You guys can see it. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna pray. Come here, Bubble. Come here. Come here, Bubble. Come here, Daddy. Come sit by me. It's okay, come here. No, 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 no. Baby, we're gonna pray. Now let's pray. Lord, we just, uh, just come before you, just your own servants. And, and we're just so appreciative for life. We just so appreciate this wonderful life. It's inside of Alice. And, and Lord, I just pray for all of you. Just, you can do it, Daddy. Just, just, it's okay, it's okay. Come here. Come here. Okay. Uh, just be able to just do you know, whatever needs to be done. And, and that uh, you just guide the doctors and the nurses and pray for TJ. And mm -hmm. God, I just thank you for this wonderful young family. And I just pray for all of our family members. We just wait for this wonderful baby boy to come. And we just pray for your timing and your protection. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, oh. I mm. Well, what's wrong, Abby? Because she wanted to be with Daddy. Mommy loves you. Love you. Yeah. Hi. I love you. I do. <laughs> I do too. You're going to have a good time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have fun. Mommy's, gonna, mommy's gonna go have baby brother, okay? Thank you. Okay. 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 Strapped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get it done, son. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You're gonna be great. You're a machine. Daddy. Yeah. You're your mama's Eddie. daughter. You were made for this. Come here. Daddy, come here. Come here. Give me lovin's. Give daddy some lovin's. Wow. Come here. Give me some lovin's, sweet girl. Oh, I love you. Give oh, me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a mommy kiss. Mwah. Okay, you have fun with I Papa Nanny, okay? I will miss you so very much. We'll have fun. Okay, so we are now just about on our way to the hospital. I can't, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm mostly excited and I'm having a contraction right now. Yeah. I just want you to know that I love you. Me too. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna call my mom and tell her we're on our way. Okay. I just uploaded my I'm in labor video. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven forty-six. Do you want to get some hard candy before we go in? No. Hello. Hey, we're on our way. Okay. Me too. Where are you? I'll just meet you at the ER. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. 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 See you in a bit. Okay. Bye. hospital TJ's over here mom's over here I'm all hooked up babies being listened to contractions are monitored I got my IV my blood everywhere yeah so, so it is now just about 2 30 um, 
And of course I'm getting a contraction right when I start this. Getting a little bit of a contraction going on. They're definitely more intense now. Um, still able to talk through them. But they're definitely hurting. So I know, I, oh, I was hooked up to Pitocin probably what, at two? So it's been probably 30 minutes, and that's when she said it would, I would really start to like fill it. So, but I feel like I was feeling it right away. I'm dilated to a three, 80% of face, but she says she could stretch me out to a four. So she said that's a really good sign that I'm already, I was already progressing on my own. When I got in here, I actually was um, contracting every two to three minutes. So that's really good just makes me know like that my body was and he was just like ready like but she did go ahead and still start me on a very low dosage of Pitocin so got all that going on and also my um, penicillin for my uh, group B and I get that every four hours but we're all getting very tired TJ's already asleep so and then they said that I can get um medicine to help um with pain and then once that wears off which they said that will um wear off in like two hours or so then i can get the epidural so hopefully i can get some sleep once i get the medicine but yeah but they came in and set up this little area so it's starting to feel so real so exciting so we got our drunk pregnant lady over there. <laughs> She's on, what's it called? Sadol. Sadol? Yeah, I never got it with Ev. Apparently it's like a step down from an epidural. Yeah, it just goes in my IV. Yeah. Just makes me feel kind of numb. Yeah, and kind it's... Kind of drunk. <laughs> it's 5.30. Yeah, and I just got that. They haven't checked me though, so. I'm sure they will at six because it's probably the nurse change. Mm, yeah. I've been up. I haven't slept at all. She's the one having the contractions. I think I've been doing pretty good though. Yep. Wait, wait a second. That was really weird. I literally felt like I was peeing myself. Mm -hmm. That's how my noise was. I was like, oh, whoa, whoa. It was so weird. All right, Are update the camera. Huh? Update your Oh, is it on? Bowels, yeah. I am soaking wet right now. <laughs> is it just going to keep doing that? Well, I mean, it'll get less because it's empty, but yeah. So my water just broke. Well, I had it broke. So now I'm just like feeling gushes every once in a while. And I didn't really have that with Evie. And why don't I remember having that with Evie? Maybe most of it came out like when you, you were pushing her out because I think it was just like leaking oh. yeah. lightly. And then when she came out, it... That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but I am now at a six. So... Now they're prepping for my epidural, and they went ahead and they turned down, they turned off my pitocin because she's scared that I'll progress too fast before I get the epidural, and we don't want that. So we're doing good. Contractions are definitely getting more intense, but I think I'm handling it okay. You doing pretty well. I slept for maybe two hours. But I'm feeling not, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ready to have a baby. He's doing really great. He's moving around. And more gushes are just coming out <laughs> of me as I sit here. What's Mama have to say about it? I remember the feeling. <laughs> it's crazy. He's moving right now. His moving is literally almost relevant to the contraction. I'm not even kidding. Okay, that's all we got for now. Yeah. All right. 
and here's Mama. I probably look so bad at that angle. So you got a catheter put in. Mm, my epidural. You got your epidural. Yes. And your pitocin was turned back down. So. Mm. And they drain your bladder. <laughs> and you had to pee a lot. And it's what time? 9.45. You 9.45. didn't have to show me. Nice neck <laughs> 9.45. The epidural. Not gonna lie. It actually kind of hurt this time. Um, I don't know. I don't know. She just like couldn't find the right spot. But like she kept having to like move it around and maneuver it. And it was just like pretty painful. But it felt like it took forever. Oh uh, yeah. It felt like it took We were down there forever. <sighs> I was like so ready for it to be done but now i'm like all numb feeling much better now and very tired and now i'm like getting the shakes that i did when i had evie too i guess just all the adrenaline but i'm hoping now that i can sleep a little bit before he comes and he oh and she also did crank up my pitocin yeah we said that oh you did yeah okay but true it's doing good i'm just feeling so much pressure down there right now like an extreme amount. But I'm still at a six, so hopefully things will progress pretty quickly now, though, that the Pitocin has turned up. We're gonna have a baby soon. Oh my word, I'm so happy I called her. I'm so. She's fully dilated, calling the doctor so she can start pushing, but they don't want her to push right now. It's so hard to not push when you need to push this bad. I can't hold it. Like when I have a contraction, like I just literally cannot not push. I'm scared to have another one. Oh my goodness, that was really fast. Mm-hmm. Baby, that's what you did last yeah, time. Yeah, you did the exact same thing. What time is it? It's ten forty. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I was literally at a six when she gave me the epidural, and that was at like 9.30. Yeah. Holy. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to happen this fast. Evie was born at 10.20. Oh, Jesus, help me. It hurts. A lot more than last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm... Oh. Yeah, I'm yes, ma'am. Uh, she can't stop pushing. <laughs> she can't help it. Ooh. Thank you. It's okay, I'm gonna have to get the doctor. I want them to crank up my upper freaking girl. <laughs> she has to squeeze my hand. Mm. What you got, huh? Mm. Thank <laughs> you. 
The full head of hair. He does. <laughs> <laughs> a girl. Boy, oh, he's got a big old head. And let's do one more person with that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had a girl. I had a girl. Come on, baby. You can do it.
Crazy. And, but Crazy. Uh, it's just two at a time in a room. Two at a time. Oh. I'm so happy to have him out. <sighs> that happened so fast. Yeah. You were like, I need to poop. And then yep. next thing you know, we're calling the nurse. Mm. And then the next thing you know, we're pushing. <laughs> They're trying not to push. At that yeah. Point. <laughs> A little camera shy. Oh, he keeps smacking. I think he wants to try to nurse. Let him try. I will. <laughs> you want me to swaddle him and hand him to you then? Yeah, if you want to. Let me just kind of make sure to check back here. I know. Okay. You look good. You look good. Dim that a little bit. Maybe open your eyes. Mm. The light is pretty bright, but I just need to see everything. Mm -hmm. That's okay, buddy. Daddy's right here. Mm. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you're okay. Everything going okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, oh,